students how are you all i hope you all are safe and healthy at home as we are all uh, facing the situation of covid crisis we are all, we all are expected to be safe and stay healthy at home and uh, let us uh, pray to the god like we soonly recover from this covid crisis situation and uh, you all know i am prasanna teacher i want to give a small concept of introduction for your class four so i have the subject maths as we all know children without math subject there is no i mean uh, there is no daily activity without the without the involvement of math subject for example if you are going to your uh, showroom if you want to buy a color tv of 32685 so there are, it involved a uh, big digit number num- number of digits are more so we should know what is a number of digits what is a place value and what is a uh, face value and if you are buying more than two products like let us say if you are buying a refrigerator and also a tv from the same showroom so what is the cost of that both and uh, in that if they are giving any discount so in that if they are giving any 1000 rupees or 10000 rupees discount so what is the final amount so there we should know the concept of subtraction suppose if you are if you want to put a showroom i mean any computer lab so i will buy 10 i want to buy 10 computers so each computer cost is 10000 so then what is the cost of and i mean 10 computers so it will be obviously 1 lakh so like that wherever you, we go for example if the student if the teacher has given like a 10th 1 lakh cost or uh, 1 lakh is the cost of 10 computers what is the cost of one computer that means there we will do the division that means wherever we go that means in our routine life the math will play a vital role is it or not children and when we are buying anything or when we are taking any values for example if you take the population of india or population of world or population of our telangana district so it won't be of a normal small digits like two, two, two digits or three digits so it will be more than two digits like four digits or five digits and more than that also six and seven also that means up to the third class you have learned only up to the four digit numbers so if whether you take a four digit number or a five digit number or a one digit number or a two digit number we have only the numbers from 0 to 9 can you find any special character children in a bigger digit number no so a number whether it is a two digit or a three digit you will be seeing only this 10 digits that is from 0 to 9 so that means the math is completely overall it will be evolving i mean running with this 10 digits only now we cannot run we cannot any add any other special character in our maths okay so just i am just giving a giving you a recap concept if you take up what is the smallest one digit number one what is the biggest one digit number nine what is the smallest two digit number 10 what is the biggest two digit number 99 what is the smallest three digit number children 100 and what is the biggest three digit number 999 what is the smallest four digit number 1000 and the bigger four digit number is 9999 that means when we are able to say a four digit number for example if i am taking a five digit number called 10000 then obviously it will be 99999 so when i am able to say 9000 99999 means here we should know when we are writing the numbers we should know the place values and face values this the concept of place value and face value i think you will be, you are you are having the idea that we will start from zero ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands and lakhs okay so that means when we are able to pronounce any number that means when we 
are able to read we, when we have to read any number we should know about the place values and face values with this only we will be able to read the numbers that means when we are reading the number there are different ways children like we will read as a standard form and we will be reading in as a expansion form and we will be reading in the form of words form these are all the basic concept what you have learned in your third class now today my topic is i want to tell you about how to compare any two numbers comparing numbers okay so where we use the concept called comparing children when we will compare suppose teacher has given you a mark sub so 90 marks you got and 91 marks your friend has got so we will compare no which who has got the i mean uh, more marks for example if the teacher is calculating the total who is the first rank holder of the class so we will compare we will take all the totals of all the students then we will compare who is the biggest total or the highest total then he will be he or she will be declared as a first rank holder that means the comparing is required when you want to evaluate any result right so that is when we are comparing any two two numbers we need to follow or we need to know some kind of rules or nothing but some kind of kind criteria where so that you can easily compare the numbers the first thing what we have to remember is the more the number of digits the greater is the number that means if the if you are taking any two numbers if one number is having three digits and the other number is having only two digits then obviously the number which is having three digits will be greater than the two digit number let me give you an example for example 200 and as if we are now fifth class i mean fourth class i am taking a four digit number 2486 this is one number and 465 is one number so if you take here ones tens hundreds and thousands here ones tens and hundreds here we are having four digits that means here it is having till thousands here it is having only till hundreds is it or not so here this number this 2486 will be greater than 465 that is the first thing that means by seeing the number of digits only we can we can recognize which is the biggest among the given two numbers this is a fundamental thing what we will remember when we are comparing any two numbers so let me take another a five digit number 3800 8653 and 4564 so seeing this only you can see here ones place tens hundreds thousands and ten thousands here ones tens hundreds and thousands now you can see your children here the number of digits are 4 and here the number of digits are 5 okay by seeing this only we can just conclude that the number which is having more number of digits that will be the greatest number among the two given numbers so this is about the first and foremost thing suppose if i am having same number of digits then how will be how we shall have to be compare the numbers so let me give you the example and start Thirty-eight thousand four hundred sixty-three ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Here I am taking the same five-digit number, forty-eight thousand four hundred sixty-three ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. If you can see the number, you can just see children here ones place. Tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. In both the numbers are same. But first thing is we have to compare the thousands, ten thousand values. Here ten thousand value, the digit is four, and here ten thousand place, the digit is three. 
Now, when we are comparing which is more children, either 3 is more or 4 is more, 4 is more. So, the number which is having highest place, whose value is more, then that number will be the greatest number among the given two numbers. That means, here what we can conclude that is, 38,463 is less than the 48,463 or else I can even say like this 48,463 is greater than the 38,463 okay children now let me give you just I am changing the kind of numbers here here I am giving in the 10,000s place 3 only but here I am changing the number in the thousands place. Here I am writing 5. The first thing, first of all, we, have, we know that the number of digits in both the numbers are same. Yes. Then after that, I am comparing the 10,000 value in the first number with the 10,000 value in the second number. So here, the both the numbers are same. Right. Now, when the both are same, then I will go to the next highest place value. What is the next highest after 10,000? It is a 1,000. Then I am comparing 5 with 8. So, 5 is less than 8. Then, here 1,000 value is more than the 1,000 value of the 35,463. So, then we can conclude that this 38,463 is greater than 35,463. So what we have to remember, which value is more to that side only, the greater than symbol will be there. Is it or not? So how can we call this also 35,463 is less than 38,463. Then, like this, suppose, again, we are, we have got another situation, like I am changing a number here. Here I am keeping 5 only, and then I am changing the value in the hundred place. Here I am giving us 9, and here I am giving us 4 only. Then, we will start comparing with the digits. Okay, we know that the number of digits are same. Now, I have com compared 10,000 of the first number with the 10,000 of the second number. So, they both are same. Then, thousands value of the first number is 5 and the next number is also, also 5. So, the digits are same. Then, now I am comparing the 100th value that means 100 value of the first number and the 100 value of the second number. That is here 9 is greater than 4. That means but by this we can conclude that this 35,963 is greater than 35,463. So, when we are comparing, we are starting with the 10,000. Then when, when they both are same, we are going with the thousands place. And when they both are also same means, then we are going with the hundreds place. Like this, suppose again I am going with the tens place. Here I am changing two values. Here I am keeping in the hundreds place 9 only. And here I am changing it as and here I am changing it as 1. So here if you are comparing all the 10,000s, thousands, hundreds place are the digits are same. Is it or not? But whereas the 10th, I mean tens place the value is different. That means here it is 2 and here it is 1. That means 2 is 1 is less than 2. Is it or not? Then 35,923 will be greater than 35,913. So this is how we compare. So next another thing. For example here also I am having in 10th place also 1 only. And here 
in the one space i am keeping it as 2 so when you are comparing here 100 space is same 10000 space is same 1000 space is same 100 space is same and also 10 space is also same so here and all the values are same then i will be comparing the ones place that is 3 is greater than 2 Then what will happen? This thirty-five thousand nine hundred and thirty is greater than thirty-five thousand nine hundred and two. So this is the way we compare when there is a five-digit number. When both the number of digits are same, then this is the way we have to follow when we are comparing the numbers. Okay. So that means the comparison of numbers first depends on the number of digits. Then, if the number of digits are same, then we will go for the highest place value. That means the ten thousands place or one thousand, ten thousands place or thousands place, which is having more value of digit, then that particular number will be the greater number. Okay, children. I hope you understood the concept. And if you go through the more examples, then you will be more. I mean. Uh, understandable in this concept thank you